Okay guys, in this video we're going to go through the CGY750's SBUS basic menu. Uh, to get to the SBUS basic menu, you're going to need to press the plus data key, and we're going to scroll until we see the SBUS basic menu, and we're going to use the plus mode button to enter it. Uh, this menu is pretty straightforward. Its sole purpose is to ensure that your channels in the CGY750 are mapped correctly to the channels in your Futaba radio. Uh, via the SBUS cable. So all we want to do here is go through and make sure that each of the functions that we have listed on the left side here, in this first case we have aileron, uh, match between this and the radio. So aileron is assigned to channel 1 and if I look at my 14SG I can see that aileron is by default also assigned to channel 1. And we can repeat this throughout the entire menu. Uh, there's two things I want to point out though. In one of the more recent firmware updates for the 14SG radio in particular, Futaba has changed the channel mapping slightly. Uh, in this case, the pitch function by default in a new 14SG model will default to channel 5 instead of channel 6. And similarly, the rudder gain, which would previously default to channel uh, 5, is now on channel 6 by default when you create a new helicopter model using the latest version 5.0 firmware for the 14SG radio. So this is important to note because the 1.4 update for the CGY750 still has the old channel mapping. So you will have to go through and either change the channel mapping in the CGY750 for both your pitch as well as your uh, rudder gain here so that they match what's in your radio. Now, you can either change it in the CGY750 or you can change it in the 14SG. In my case here, I just changed the CGY750 to match my 14SG. Uh, it doesn't matter which way you go, but you do need the channels for the CGY750 and 14SG to operate correctly and for all your channels. One more thing out. I want to go over in here is the aileron gain, which you can see here is assigned to channel 9, and the elevator gain, which is assigned to channel 10. Uh, by default, they're separated out on the channels 9 and 10, but what you can do to make your gain adjustments a little bit simpler on your radio is you could assign, for instance, elevator gain to channel 9 as well. And what this is going to do is that since, oops, since both elevator and aileron gain are now on channel 9, when you make an aileron gain adjustment in the radio, since on the radio in our function menu, uh, channel 9 is gyro assigned 2, to which the, is the aileron gyro. If I turn up my gain on the that channel, or on that menu, it will increase the gain for both the aileron and elevator at the same time. So this allows us to use one menu to control both gains. Uh, generally, you want to keep both gains identical. Um, if there is, uh, If you do need to adjust the gain independently, there is a aileron separation parameter in the flight tuning menu that allows us to decrease or increase the gain to the aileron channel in particular. That's about it for uh, the S-Bus menu. So it's really straightforward. Just make sure that all of your channels match your function menu in your Futaba radio.